Usually when we're writing songs, it's, it's kind of all of us in a room. We just jam and then I take it and just come up with melodies. Nothing is ever really a song until we're all playing yeah. it together. It, yeah, it, 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 but the ideas can yeah. come from anywhere. Yeah, it totally varies. It might be like one of us coming up with a riff in the practice room and then everybody just right in there. Or it could be like Lee coming in with a song mm. completed and then we'll just rip it all apart and everybody... Like last part, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's like... Oh, or, some, or Stu might do that, Stu might write the whole song and then we'll, we'll come in and take all the minor bits out. <laughs> Ponder Freeze, Town Centre. Every Wednesday and Saturday, there was a big market in this area. Up there, my store was right yeah, there. Yeah, and Lee's stall was just there. I used to sell us. jeans. Priceless shoes used to be Tandy's, where Stu used to work. You used to work in Iceland? Yes, I did. Yeah. I used to work in Iceland. Thinking back, I'm sure Kevin Bacon was my supervisor. <laughs> the Kevin Bacon. Remember? They used to do them CD sales in here. And, um, Actually, here's a story. This is where I got a Duran Duran bootleg called Lost Profits. Fact. Fact. Yeah. I also got a copy of uh, Ice T's Cop Killer. Nice. Yeah. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Yeah, I'm so tired of waiting. So this is the YMCA. This is where we had our first, well, our first band pack. This is where in my garage. But when we got a, when we got semi pro, when we were like 14, <laughs> we are. Uh, we took it out to the YMCA. All right, stroll on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's fucking brilliant. That's pointy for you. Yeah. You Slice of small right town down. mentality. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Even though our first album we recorded in 11 days, we spent a year and a half before that writing and kind of like honing our craft. Of course, the last record was pretty quick, apart yeah. from like the downtime. Yeah, exactly. It was only it's like, like months. It, it, the reason it took so long is because we did two records, you know, and we, we kind of we were going down a path, I think, and it led to the Chocolate Factory and didn't. It was the yeah. It was definitely brown. Yeah. <laughs> We trusted somebody to do, you know, the producer, whatever, but he had a different vision to what we wanted. And a lot of it was having the balls to stick with what we believed in and say, mm -hmm. no, we're going to do it again. Ultimately, we made a mistake, but it was one of the best no, no, mistakes no. We, we made. You know what I mean? It was like, because we've learned from that, that we've learned that we can yeah. produce ourselves and we, rec we can record ourselves and, and, we, and we don't need that outside influence. So. This, yeah, I guess we kind of learned to trust ourselves. Yeah. We don't need it.
Go over produce him. I had to kind of like just pull the, you know, try and pull everybody together yeah. and like kind of. I didn't really crack the whip so much though. No, I, I, I just made, I've made so many. There's records. a mutual respect there, I think. It's because Stu knows us so well. It's like some producers kind of take you to places where you don't want to go. Some, yeah, yeah, to, yeah, to yeah. dark. Like you know, you're sitting there thinking, you know, oh, this is all. It's like when your mom. <laughs> you know. It's like when your mom tells you to wear clothes to like your grands. Like, yeah, you're like, yeah, oh, mom, yeah. I wouldn't wear that. Come on. Or when like a sex scene comes on a film oh. when you're watching with your parents. Oh, the worst. Like, sure, sure, you... that's still awkward. <laughs> yeah, to this day. <laughs> Rehearsal recording space. Yeah. No. All seasons blinds. Let's go see where the magic happened. Look at this. Look how small it looks. The control room would be there, was over the corner, and then this bit was blocked off. This was the live room. I still remember the feeling of listening back to the first demos and thinking, Oh, yeah. That was wicked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. it. Like, how good are we? I know, we're awesome. <laughs> like, play it again, Steve. I, I feel sorry for every band out right now. Yeah. The, the kitchen area would be by there. Well, not by there. And we'd make really the And that's where we'd always have the, the little the uh, fantasy dream in. stations. Imagine we go gold. <laughs> imagine. Imagine yeah, we get to Tour America. Yeah. We always, there we are. This, yeah, we sell them and then we always, like, just piss ourselves. I think it's as nice as it is to get like successful and go and do stuff in like big studios. This place is what made us what we are. Oh, yeah. And this is where we had like all the best times. Yeah. doing it full time for the last 10. So it's, you know, we're constantly in each other's space. Sometimes I need a, need a bit of special alone time <laughs> when we're on tour. 2004, we were on tour for about 15 months straight. And after that amount of time, you're kind of like, oh, I need, I need a couple of days. So you, sometimes you go to like a city and just go off by yourself and do your own thing. And then, yeah, it's got to that point, I think, because we've been friends. I think we've hung out almost every day, mm. you know. And like, you can't imagine life without knowing each other, hanging out with each other, you know. So when everyone goes home, or they go and see his family, like sometimes we don't talk to each other for, for months, like months, two months. But the minute we're back together again, it's, not awkward, it's second nature. But we say if we're going nowhere Yeah, we sing If it's not enough And we sing Sing without a reason To ever fall in love I wonder if y'all listen Picking up all the signals sent back from within Sometimes it seems like I don't really know what's going on We love what we do and this is our life, but also you've got to enjoy it. You can't 
be po faced all the time about it and be like, Ooh. yeah. I don't know. It's you just gotta be honest. Be true. <laughs> like uh, like that one Spando time. Ballet. What? Like what? <laughs> like that one time. One one time. I'm a guy, isn't it? Oh, up your ass. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Let's have a go at Ian now. <laughs> Everyone takes piss out of Ian, Ian, Ian is the human, human yeah. living version of Family Guy. Because everything has a cultural reference. <laughs> Ian, I'm going to go to the shop. Oh, that shop. Oh, oh open all hours. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's not, it's it's not, not that like, crap. No, it's not no, that, no, it's no, not that just, random. Just, it's always linked. <laughs> but I can't help, can't help it because my, my neurons in my brain are going... Yeah. <laughs> That's Ian. Yeah. The, uh, Family what, guy. What, what yeah. about you then? I don't know, what am I? Um, Which is awesome, like 24-7. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>